Antilana is a trifocal lens with a long tradition on a new platform. It is a hydrophobic acrylic material with a classical C loop a type of fixation element with low risk of side effects and excellent performance. My name is Professor Aufwart. I'm the chair of the Heidelberg University Eye Clinic. At the Eye Clinic we also have the David J. Apple Laboratory and my clinical research group, the IVCSC group. And I'm leading that uh, since, uh, yeah, I have to say almost 20 years. So the ophthalmology is, is a very nice specialty and it's much, much bigger than the small eye appears to be. So you are here at a very historic uh, ground. The Heidelberg University is uh, more than 600 years old. It was uh, one of the oldest universities uh, founded in, in Europe. The University Eye Clinic itself is a mid-size eye clinic. We have a pretty fair uh, volume of surgery, between four to 5,000 surgeries a year. And uh, we are more or less worldwide specialized in uh, intraocular lenses, new implants. And the David J. Apple Laboratory has a worldwide uh, renowned reputation. David J. Apple Pathology for Ocular Pathology, or actually it is now called the International Laboratory for Ocular Pathology, came from uh, Professor David Apple. Professor Apple was a pathologist and uh, ophthalmologist uh, from the United States. Over years we became friends and when Professor Apple passed away, I inherited physically this lab. Officially it was moved from uh, MERC to Heidelberg University. And here we extended a whole setup in completely new areas. The core competence of ocular pathology is of course still there. We are one of the biggest centers for implant registration and implant pathology, but we also develop techniques to evaluate biomaterials. So the lab has gone uh, very far since that time. Okay, and now we put the lens in. This goes very smooth. Very nice. And in we go. Very good. The Artelana is the next gen type of trifocal lens from Zeiss following the Artelisa tree. And the Artelisa tree was kind of a gold standard, one of the first trifocal lenses and set the bar very high. One thing that is uh, very important is that the optical features are transferred to a new material. It is a hydrophobic acrylic material with a classical C uh, loop type uh, of fixation elements. And this is uh, already a big move and it's not so easy to transform these kind of optics from one material to the others. So the first question was, is there an inferiority to the standard or is there superiority? What we're checking here uh, in the lab is that we do so-called accelerated aging, where we look if this hydrophobic material has any risk of performing so-called glistenings. Then we have a digitalizing camera where we see pictures like you see here. This is a competitor lens from a different hydrophobic acrylic material and this is a kind of worst case scenario that you have sometimes with the glistenings. You see that the entire optic is covered here like a snowstorm with these little mic microvacuoles. When we do the same testing with the Arte Lana, uh, Ilana, we can see that there's essentially nothing there. Yeah, we can see some individual spots here which are partially from the lens and partially also from the uh, plastic dish where it's put on. So essentially uh, the Atil Ilana, you see here also the refractive uh, structure, uh, has more or less no uh, glistenings, which is extremely important for this type of uh, trifocal technology. Besides confirming that the principal optical parameters of intraocular lenses, such as the nominal power, we can use this device also to measure the through focus modulation transfer function, or, or the MTF as we call it. And the through focus MTF can help us to understand how much resolution the lens can produce at different distances or how much detail it can capture at each distance. And here we see the through focus MTF of the AT Elana, we see those three peaks corresponding to far intermediate and near distances. We can also include various cornea types that account for, for the variability of spherical aberration that exists in the population. And what we did was looking at how the lens performs under all those challenging conditions.
we could see that the Tilana under all conditions performs almost identical. Yeah, so the MTF curve and the defocus here, the performance of the lens was, was more or less identical and not influenced by all these parameters. There are others on the market which under certain conditions completely lose several features. Yeah, so this was quite interesting. Another thing that we did was to look at, the, uh, at these conditions in terms also of decentration. Uh, what impact does that have? And again, if uh, you have decentration here, RT Elana performed straightforward under all of these conditions, and some of the other completely lost their performance at a certain condition or over the time. So uh, the more decentration, the less uh, performance they had. So here we see another uh, excellent advantage uh, of the RT Elana. Okay, now we will do cataract surgery with implantation of one of the first Elana trifocal intraocular lenses. We have a 67 year old patient, a female patient here, and we will do the first implantation today on the left eye. We're doing this using the Artevo microscope in the 3D display. You now we go for the implantation and the loading. So here we have the lens being in place very nicely, you can see. We fill this up with the viscoelastic. We use quite a bit of viscoelastic here to make sure everything is fine. The lens comes pre-loaded. Now we hear the click. Now we move it forward. Now it's already in the anterior part of the Now we implant the lens, as you can see, we go through very nicely. Now it's coming out, unfolding, first haptic. You can see here very nicely the Artelana in place. Okay, that's it. The implantation was smooth and uh, very nice, especially the capsular back performance, I expect a lot. Etilana is a trifocal lens with a long tradition on a new platform with low risk of side effects and excellent performance. So I think my expectations were high, but they, uh, they were met already.